Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So in uh, this video we are going to set up the navigation to our song fragment. And then we will just go into that song fragment, set up some basic stuff like observers on the currently playing song for the media items and stuff like that. But first of all, we of course need to create that song fragment. So let's go into, into our fragments folder here. Create a new Kotlin folder class called song fragment. Select class and that just inherits from fragment of course. We need to give it a layout here. So r.layout import r, alt plus enter. And it is r.layout fragment song. Then and that's it for now for this song fragment. Next, we want to go into our nav graph. In our navigation folder in the resource package, we open our nav graph. Um, we go to the design tab here, in which we currently only have our home fragment. So what we can do is we can click on this plus icon and add our song fragment. So we could do it, a transition now from this home fragment to this song fragment. But we're not going to do that. Why? Because we want to have a global action to the song fragment. Since when do we actually want to navigate to that? We want to navigate to that when we click on the on the song in our view pager. Then we want to open that song fragment. And our view pager is actually not located in this home fragment. It is actually located in our main activity. And to be able to navigate from our main activity, to this song fragment, we need to define a global action. And that's what we're going to do. We will go to our code tab here to view this in XML. Go down here and here we will open an action tab, an action tag. Um, give it an ID of global action to song fragment. And we need to specify the destination, which is just song fragment. And then we can close that. And now we can always pass that action ID here to navigate to the song fragment from anywhere. Now we can go back to our uh, main activity actually, because when we click on that view pager to navigate to the song fragment, we want to hide our bottom bar. That shouldn't be visible in our song fragment. And we have to do that in the main activity here before we actually navigate to uh, the song fragment. So what I want to do is here in main activity, I want to create two functions. One is just to hide that bottom bar. So in the end, that is just the image view, um, the view pager and the, the play pause image. So we will have a private function to hide the bottom bar in which we will use our IV current song image, the image on the left that is visible is equal to false. And then our VP song, our view pager that is visible is equal to false. And finally, IV play pass that is visible is equal to false. And then we copy that function, paste it below, call it show bottom bar. And we just change all these values to true. Uh, like this. Now, how do we actually manage to um, always hide and show this bottom bar when we navigate or actually when we go back to main activity? Or actually, it's not going back to main activity because we are always inside of main activity. That is just our single activity. It's rather going back to our home fragment. So in the end, what we will do is we will add an on destination change listener to our nav controller. So inside of our on create function here, I will add this listener to our nav controller. So we can get a reference to our nav controller by writing nav host fragment dot find nav controller dot add on destination change listener. You can see we want to choose that lambda function here. Then we get access to the controller, the destination and the arguments. We don't need the controller, we need the destination, and we don't need the arguments. So we can just replace those with an underscore. And now we can check with the when expression 
um, depending on the destination dot ID, we can now check to which fragment we actually navigated. So if that ID was r dot ID dot song fragment, we know we just navigated to the song fragment. In that case, we don't want to show our bottom bar, so we call hide bottom bar. If it's r dot ID dot um, home fragment, we want to show our bottom bar. And just to add an else case here, we just show our bottom bar by default. Now this will actually never happen in our case. So now we actually want to navigate to the song fragment when we click on an item in our view pager. So in the end, we use our swipe song adapter dot set item click listener. And here we just want to use our nav host fragment again dot find nav controller dot navigate and we pass our global action now. So r.id that global action to song fragment. And then we will navigate to our song fragment. And that's it for our activity. Next, we want to jump into our song fragment for the other stuff we have to do here. So just to give you a quick little overview of our song fragment, because I don't know if you um, still have that in mind here, our layout, um, how that actually looks, what we will do here. So we have our title text view that will display our title and subtitle together. We have our big image view for the song image. We have our seek bar that consists of this text view for uh, the current player position and the, the text view for the song duration. We can toggle the playset here and we can skip songs. So we will actually start to add an Android entry point annotation here because we want to inject our glide instance. So add inject late init var glide, which is of type request manager. You already know that. Um, then we need a reference to our main view model. So private late init var main view model, which is of type main view model. Uh, then we will need an instance to our song view model and we can make this a private val because we will bind this view model to the lifecycle of this fragment so we can use the delegation way of initializing this so private val song view model is a song view model by view models and import view models here and what we also need what is also not new to you is um, the currently playing song so private var currently playing song of type song nullable and null by default and then I will make a little space and override on view created so first of all let's initialize our main view model so main view model is equal to view model provider um, pass require activity as a lifecycle owner because this view model is bound to activities lifecycle not to this fragments lifecycle and call that get main view model double colon cluster Java next I want to create a little function that updates the title of this fragment and the song image once a new song is loaded so private function update title and song image in which we can get the new title by creating a string val title is equal to um, actually we should give this a parameter song here to just update the title with song.title minus um, song dot subtitle so that is what will be displayed in uh, the title bar and then we will use our text view tv song name it is dot text is equal to title and we will use glide dot load um, song dot image url and we load that into iv song image from fragment song xml like this and that's already it for this function we will just need this code multiple times that's 
yi, put that into a function. And then we can set up the observers for our media items and our currently playing song. So private function subscribe to observers. Um, the main view model dot media items dot observe view lifecycle owner and in this observer block we will first of all check if the result is not equal to null give that a name of result and just have the usual when expression when result at status if that is a success status okay we can press alt plus enter to import success here uh, then we want to do this we actually want to ignore the other cases so else just unit if we get a success status here so if we just um, retrieve uh, the current media items what do we want to do here um, the purpose of this is just that we want to load the um, the first song initially into this song fragment so it just if we directly launch the app then and then directly click on the view pager without playing anything then we still want that the first song is loaded into um, the song fragment and that these text views are not just empty so that's why we override or why we actually um, use this observer here so in here we can check result.data if that is not equal to null we can give this a name of songs um, then we can check if uh, the currently playing song is equal to null so that means that we just launched that fragment um, and if the songs list that is not empty so if there are songs in our list and then we want to update our currently playing song with songs at the index of zero so just the first song and also call our just created function update title and a song image with songs at the index of zero again. So that's it for this observer. The next observer, as I already said, is our main view model uh, dot currently playing song. When that changes, we of course also want to be notified in our fragment here so that we can also update the information. Here we can again check that it's very similar to what we did in main activity if it is equal to null we want to return out of this observer and if it is not equal to null we update our currently playing song here in this fragment with it dot to song so our own created extension function here again so again you can see how useful it is to actually um, create this function because then we um, save a lot of code here because we don't need to write the function code twice um, because we need that quite often here and we also want to call this update title and song image function again with our currently playing song and here we can assert that this is not equal to null because we just assigned a value here to it um, yeah and I, I can just recommend you you already know that probably but um, if you have some code in your project that you um, have to use at least twice um, or even more often than always create a function out of that as we did it here for this function because that just saves huge amounts of code especially if you're working on a on a large project so anyways we of course also want to call this function subscribe to observers that is something I like to forget but not this time um, in our own view created function obviously and when we now launch our app then we can take a look here in our own emulator wait until these items are loaded and now if we initially click on our view pager you can see um, the title and the subtitle is displayed and our image is loaded and of course we haven't set up anything with our seek bar yet with our chimes with our play button our skip buttons but at least the information here displays when we play a song go back then this is updated and also if we play a song from our notification and then as well so uh, that is at least working perfectly fine 
And in the next video, we will worry about the rest, about the seek bus stuff here, um, play toggling, skipping songs, and that will also be the last video of this playlist. So I hope you like this video. If so, please let me know below, like this video, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel, of course. Have an awesome day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.